First, though, they have faced repeated flooding. Now, Osceola County is considering taking over. County managers say Good Samaritan Village is now suffering from its third major flood event since 2006. And more than a week after Ian, parts of the community remain underwater. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is there tonight with the latest on what local leaders are considering. The community remains taped off, and that's because look at the amount of standing water that is still out here. The county manager tells me this senior living community is in a floodway and that this isn't the first time residents have had to deal with the water. If it were built today, it would not be able to get permits because it's located within something called a floodway. So it has re repeatedly flooded over the past years. Osceola County Manager Don Fisher says they are discussing seizing Good Samaritan Society Kissimmee Village through eminent domain. What we would do is if we did take it by eminent domain and we're still evaluating that, we would likely use it for additional stormwater capacity, meaning that it could help out other areas in the Shingle Creek Basin, which is where this is located and certainly re remove a, a, an unsafe condition for those residents that are currently being flooded repeatedly. Fisher says the idea was first brought up in 2017 after Hurricane Irma flooded the senior living community, but says they are now tackling the issue more aggressively and are speaking with the county's attorneys. I would approach the property owner to see if they'd be willing to sell first. Usually a voluntary sale is more appropriate, but if not, government is given the ability to use eminent domain to remove a structure like this from a flood area. The Vice President of Operations for Good Samaritan Society, Amy Middleton, said in a statement emailed to News 6, quote, we have not had any communication with the county on this matter. We plan on continuing to collaborate with the county and our shared goal remains the same, keeping residents safe. Meanwhile, residents say they still haven't been able to get back into their homes to survey the damage. Some telling me they don't know where to go and how long it'll be until they can return home. They failed to let us know that this is a flow zone. If the county need to take it out for safety measures, then they do what they have to do. It's a lot of people, the retired people, they got all their money, all their, their investment, all their, their money, the little bit of money they get every month invested here to live in a place where they can go home. And now, they don't know where to go. The county manager tells me with the amount of flooding this community has seen, it's not only a safety concern for the residents, but also for those first responders who have had to come here and rescue people stuck or trapped by the flood water. For now, in Osceola County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.